Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're gonna to be doing the 120th anniversary launch on the Harley Davidson. Everything's about to come on right now. They're about to go live in about two minutes. Obviously, if you're looking at the background, you're like, what, where are you filming from? We've never seen this background before. I'm just in my basement today. I'm in my little studio section where I do most of my editing and uh, my Wi-Fi socks in my garage. So that's why we're here. Try to make it somewhat appealing for you guys. Um, anyways, I'm excited to see what Harley Davidson is going to be showing now for 2023. If they're going to be showing any new bikes, any new colors. I know the anniversary color is about to drop, so we're going to be seeing that. And yeah, let's uh, let's just wait till everything starts right here. And I'm going to give you guys my commentary and my thoughts as the video is going on. Hundred and twentieth anniversary, everything started off right there. So what we're gonna do is that we are going to watch this and I'll be doing some commentary at the same time um, through everything. So as we see here, we're starting with some old school content already. All the way up to Moto America now we can get the baggers. Go on. Wide open and adventured to the most remote corners of the earth. And if you ask any one of them to explain man. the feeling of riding a Harley, they'll do their best to express it in words. And, of course, they will fall short. But, if you look closely, you'll see it in their eyes. That visceral feeling. The intoxicating... Visceral feeling. These machines... I love all this old school footage, man. Than take you places. They awaken something inside of us. Something it's crazy when you uh departure from the mundane just take a step back and um stuff of memories you see everything from the start 20 years of speed 120 power, years it's a big year man it's a lot of history of all right so this is the clip that they kept playing from the trailer and i kept trying to like slow it down fast forward it See, I don't see anything new yet. Red. Is this the is this the anniversary color? This dark red. Wow. Sea of red. Yeah. Holy yeah. Yeah. It is. Look at these colors. Beautiful. Some nice red. Helmet. I like it. I like it. How are you? Lance, how are you doing? Good, good. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yes. What have you got here? This is the 120th anniversary lineup from Harley Davidson. It looks like a 120th lineup. It's beautiful. You know, the first one's really setting eyes on them. We wanted to show them to, you know, two passionate enthusiasts first. As you know, Harley Davidson has a real rich history celebrating our anniversaries and riding with their community make it so rich and so special to us. And that's a real privilege to be standing here. You guys create this awesome part, and I love riding. You guys want to look at smart? Let's look at some of it. I mean, what color yeah. we got going on here? This is heirloom red. It's a special heirloom color that red. we created just for the anniversary. If you guys get in there and look, it's a very fine like flake, it. which makes it feel really, really rich and really special. It's a flaky color, two shades of red with, the anniversary bike with a brighter red, red trim on it. And you've got the badge on this one. I like the well. badge. Right. So since the badge is nice. It was, really, it was the first anniversary badge. We had this really 50. beautiful brass chunky anniversary badge on the front fender of those models. But we've integrated, of course, an eagle into this beautiful diamond pattern that came I like from the our badge. Art Deco bikes in the late 20s. You incorporated every color in fine detail from the thread on the seat, which oh, matches the, the stitch it on the seat? The gold. You're right, what? so we have this beautiful oxblood finish. Oh, that's seat. beautiful, man. Stitching. Consoles have the gold See that special. logo and the serialization. Yeah, we model. talk about and special. The whole thing ties together to some of the powertrain details. Little Tradition details like that. Captured. Those little details yeah, like that for like a special bike like this is what we might have to fight over this one. At times, a yeah. company kind of misses I'm the ball on. That comment, so I, I like this though. Up. It's going the right I might way. I want to take that one home. So here it is. Oh, yo, that CVO color. Yeah. That's the 120th anniversary Road Glide Limited. 1500 are made. Yeah. There are all kinds of Easter eggs in this motorcycle, as you can see. The e Love seeing the wings back here on the saddle bag. Yeah. I mean, I like the gold trims in it. Flow from 
Yeah, it looks black, but you guys see that there's some red in that black, right? So this is called anniversary black. It looks black, but when you get it outside, there's a really deep red highlight that will be caught in all the features of the body panels. Wow, I love that. Definitely like to look at the beauty, the components, the paint, and everything. But one of the real important things for me that CVO limited. My hat fits. That's there beautiful. You know, I'm on it. Oh, that paint job is sick. So we talked about the exclusivity of this model, but just keep in mind that there are more CBOs also coming this year. Awesome, that's great to hear. We also celebrate the anniversary throughout our product line, and that includes apparel as well. So we can't wait to see it. Well, thanks for having us. And Gail, thank you so much for coming to Milwaukee. Lance, see you guys out on the road. <coughs> yes, you will. All right. Take care. So he said there's going to be more CBOs coming this year, so they're not going to show this, the rest of the CBO colors now? That's weird, because usually we, we do see them at this time. All right, so we're going to go to clothing. I thought they are going to spend a little bit more time on the anniversary bikes. I mean, they they really spend that much time on them. I kind of wanted to look at them. It's nicer on video when when, when they do the video. It's professionally done. And, okay. And we put that into See really what they got for clothing. Apparel products. So this is all like 120th anniversary this apparel. This is a vintage that I'm seeing right here. That hardware is from the original cycle. I feel like they're kind of like walling through everything so quick. What do we have? This is the trike. The trike. Free wheeler. I feel like they're, they're focusing a lot on trikes in the past year or two. Um, obviously, you know, the baby boomers are, they want to keep riding and uh, they want to be more comfortable and they want to feel like they're able to ride. Uh, some of these guys want to keep it on the wheels and uh, what better way to do it than on a trike if they're unable to ride on two wheels, right? So I think that's why they're focusing more on trikes now, just to keep the baby boomers coming back, keep them happy, and just having more turners for them. I like the all black components on the trike. Here we are talking about trikes on the channel. Who would have thought? It's a nice bike. Nice color. I like the black trim on everything. Let's take Makes a look at really Road cool. Glide 3. Road Glide is a legendary part of the motorcycle. The Road Glide truck? Really <laughs> but uh, we've never seen it before on three wheels. What? Is he, what? Some were looking for the music, <laughs> the fairing, the... So we got the shark on three wheels. Never before seen. The other day. It felt amazing. Road Glide trike. So, feel the power that it has. I even think of popular. That goes to show you how popular <laughs> the road glide has become the last few years, man. I can't wait to see how people customize them. Once again, they're kind of speeding through everything very, very quick. I guess they, they uh, hardly got a lot of complaints from viewers in the past few years about that. Look at the nicer here. If you saw a line and you went online, you were like, well, where's the nicer? They kind of took it off the sport area and it's because I guess they're coming out with new colors but I found that weird why they would take them off but let's see if they did change the anything time, or not I rode like the black one I was just blown away by lifting it off the side stand how different it felt from any other Harley Davidson I've ever been I like on. that black one the wheels different one thing about Nitro that's so exciting is of course the heart of the motorcycle which is the 975, new 975 so powertrain the thing just wants to same engine climb same high red max range, and it's really intoxicating Ride it. I know, just riding Nightster. After third gear, you expect a little bit less, but there's more, more, more. I like the new it's wheels when you're on the black one. It's like a matte black. Hit that back road on the way home. Ooh, that really tank. You to test <laughs> that emblem that on the tank looks is, dope. How fast you retro. Familiar corner. Nice little 70s retro look to it. As you can see here with the Nightster, we've actually started to simplify the bike and to really celebrate that iconic Sportster silhouette. I'm loving how stripped down Nightster is. So for the nicer special, we've had the five inch it's riser. The nicer special. The TFT display right into the top. Five inch riser, yes. You see, that's cool. With the passenger foot pegs, as well as that's the new cool. split seven spoke wheels. I spent split a lot of time seven spoke wheels. Those wheels are fire. I like them. It makes the bike look really nice. Walk around it, or you see it comes with the pillion seat now, uh, so it's two up ready passenger it pegs. Fantastic. Sportster is here to stay. That that's and a you see that that's a good option right there. So you've got the strip down just nine seven five and then and then the special, which is you can look at both of them. You can tell which one is the special one or not. 
once again, they're, they're kind of speeding through everything quickly. The breakout's back? What? <clears throat> what? After they had canceled the breakout about a year or two ago, it's back. Let's see what's going to be different on it. Is it going to have a 117? Let's see. I think if you gave the average person a pencil and a piece of paper this? and asked them to draw a motorcycle, they're probably going to draw you a breakout. Let's see what's different about this. It's the quintessential Harley Davidson silhouette. Long, red, right looks like chopper look. It's low the same paint ground. job that the CVO had last we year. Uh, CVO Roll Glide. Uh, the orange. And it's better than ever. We used to have a three and a half gallon tank. <coughs> We've moved to a five gallon tank. We've three and a half to five gallon gas rate. tank with the 117? Horsepower, 123 foot pounds of torque. Holy cow. So we have this. 240 millimeter rear tire, and then we have this larger front wheel. We have these 26 spoke roulette wheels. The now, wheels are nice. Standing still or moving down the road, these wheels look absolutely nice. The magnificent. wheels are nice. They really set off the bike. I like the wheels. Brake Bigger fans engine. Are huge, huge chrome fans. So again, it was really important to us. All chromed out. Covered in chrome. I like the fact that they kept it in chrome finishes. and not all blacked out on this one. Deep, rich paint. Chrome's coming back. The soft tail chassis gives an amazing performance with the suspension, so it's much more comfortable. You have traction control and ABS. You have cruise control available. Cruise so you have control, all the modern okay. conveniences that you want as a rider in 2023 without having to compromise on that classic style that we know our riders love so much. I would say Breakout is loud in all of the good ways. It will attract all of the right now, kind of I, I don't you hate the Breakout. Like into a fuel station. I don't love it. I think it's a really You're cool bike. A is it for me? No, but it's a beautiful bike that you know I, I like to look at. It's really nice. That was good. I'm, I'm fine with that. It's cool. What do we got? We got Pan Americas now. Are we gonna see a smaller Pan America? Oh, just accessories. Let's go to the accessory catalog now. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have? I love that the fog the lights that package. Harley has for So it's basically a kit Pan that America. allows Pan America to be transformed into this ultimate adventure bike. <clears throat> so like on this bike, I see the bags, you have some accessory lights here. That's right. Tall windscreen. It's got a quick shifter also installed, but it allows you to... And it was almost like... Empire like Collection is so nice, guys. Cool. Like, I've, I've, I've heard put so many people on to the Empire Collection. Every time they walk by my bike or even in the videos, they ask sort of and a subtle upgrade, but it really they're, they're just like huge fan of them. I absolutely love it. We have the passenger peg, a rider peg, motor inserts. All right, so this is cover. nothing new from last year. It feels like very rich. Empire Collection. Same engineering team at Texas. Once again, they're just, this thing is going quick. What do we have now? What? Tile, the Sturgis, Daytona, Budapest. We might even roll out another new bike or two. Oh, we might even roll out a new bike or two. He just said that. Let me repeat that. He just said we might roll out another bike or two. So this is going to be a, a big year, man. Like, we just got to wait all the way up until July to see what those new releases could be. Uh, now, uh, now we get something to be intrigued for for the rest of the year. It's like, all right, we're, we're going to... We're going to Milwaukee and we're going to have a great time and there, there's uh, there just could be new bikes, new bikes out there that we might be able to see. You see, so it's over, so I, I wanted to watch more footage on the new anniversary bikes. Yes, I could go online right now and I could spin the bike around on the Harley website, but having their footage, which is perfection, looking at all the little details, I think if they would have taken more time to, you know, all right, that was quicker than what I thought. Um, all right, let, let's uh, let's give you guys some of uh, some of my feedback, what I thought about um, the whole launch. Um, pretty cool, awesome. Uh, I think they they just kind of sped through everything pretty quick. They didn't spend enough time on the new anniversary colors. Absolutely love the anniversary color. The new one is just gorgeous. Um, it looks really nice. I want to see it in person. That's one CVO, which they show, which I thought was pretty weird for them not to show the rest of the CVOs. Only one, and that was the limited. I thought that was pretty weird. So, I mean, what, are they not going to come out with the CVOs now and they're going to do like a, a later launch for it? I mean, that's kind of weird. Um, 
but they could have spent more time on each bike and going over little details because I'm pretty sure they're going to have little Easter eggs here and there. I mean, I know CVOs always have a lot of Easter eggs on them. Um, but it's a, it's a nice color and I wanted to see more of the bikes. Or, and it's not one or two bikes, it's like five or six different bikes which they're going to have the, the anniversary color on. Apparel, they spent a little time on it. I, I, I mean, I don't care about spending too much time on apparel. Um, trikes, it was okay, this is what we're doing. We saw the Road Glide trike, which is first time ever, so that's pretty cool. And the white one was pretty nice as well, all blacked out. I absolutely love what they did with the Sportster S, the special. Like, that's really, really cool. I absolutely love the wheels on that. Um, I, I like the fact that it comes to up ready. Um, and it, it, like I was mentioning before, if you put it right next to the other nights there, you, you could tell that this one is special. You could tell this one has a lot more going on for it. And um, it looks good. I, I, I think a lot of more people who are kind of overlooking the Sportster, the Nightster, uh, in the past year are are going to kind of take a step back and be like, whoa, whoa what is that real quick? Is, it, is, that, is that a Sportster? It, it looks more appealing. The, the wheels are really nice. The, the tank decal is really nice as well, giving the nice retro look. Um, that's pretty much what I got from the whole launch, man. Um, I liked it. I liked them. Just I don't know why they didn't put the rest of the CBOs, and that's my only thing that I'm like, ah, oh, like they should have done this. They, they should have definitely spent more time on the anniversary bikes. They kind of left it off in a little cliffhanger because there's a few more things still pending. Um, so I thought that they were gonna come out with uh, a smaller adventure bike, which who knows? Uh, that's just something that I think and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be doing. So it might be like a mid-year, it might be next year, who knows? Um, the breakout, let's talk about the breakout. The breakout's back, what? I was ever like a huge fan of the breakout, like I was saying before, I think it's a beautiful bike. I love to look at it. Is it a bike for me? No, but it's a really design, uh, beautiful design bike. 117 now, um, all chromed out. Um, those wheels look really, really nice. Um, well, I want to see that thing in person. It's, it's a beautiful bike. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, what else? We didn't see the Bronx. The Bronx is still not back, guys. Uh, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more follow-up videos on this and a uh, few other things coming out. And as more bikes come in to the dealership, my local dealership, we're gonna be doing more reviews, uh, more rides and everything. And um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.